All right, sitting here today with head women's soccer coach John Cullen. John, spring season's in the books. Uh, team was coming off a division championship, berth in the semifinals of conference tournament. What did you think about the spring? Uh, spring was very, very positive for us on uh, a number of fronts. I think, uh, as always, when you start the spring season, most important work the players have to do is the ball, the, the work without the ball. Um, we've had a very good uh, indoor conditioning season uh, with our strength and conditioning coach Stacy Hammer. She pushed the girls and challenged the girls and, and made them work hard, which was fantastic. And uh, we saw massive improvements in the girls' fitness levels and uh, strength and core. Um, and that's the the main objective of the spring season is to you know continue to make them better athletes as well as individually better soccer players. Um, so it was a very good start to our spring season with the work they did there with Stacy, and, um, and then behind the scenes we had three or four players who were recovering from little injuries with our athletic trainer uh, Chris Clapton who uh, again put in fantastic amount of work behind the scenes to get themselves ready for the upcoming summer months and then leading into the fall season. And then on the playing side of it um, we're really delighted about how the spring went. We played six games, we won five, drew one and only conceded one goal and it was the quality of our performance what really excited us, some great individual moments, but uh, overall the team made some great strides and continued to build on the success of last fall season. Spring's a lot of times more important about development than the results. Uh, what development areas did you see specifically? Well, we talked all spring about um, we want to get 1v1 battles improved. Um, you know, the game is about systems and formations and styles of play, but ultimately still boils down to 1v1 battles all over the pitch and uh, we focused a lot on that. We wanted to see improvements in players' attacking personality. We wanted to see the players improve with their defensive pride um, and we saw a number of players really rise to the occasion on that. Um, so, you know, we're still looking for the team to improve and the way we move the ball and defend but overall we look at the spring as an opportunity to break down individual performances and look at where they're excelling as players and that was a main focus part of our spring season is, you know, are they doing the job with the ball and are they doing the job without the ball as individuals? And ultimately, we felt very good across the board about the, the quality of our game. And that comes down to individual performances. So, you know, thoroughly delighted how that went. One player that stood out last fall, Monica Trickett, uh, came in mid-season, named team captain after some injuries and went on to win the team MVP award. How has her continued improvement shored up the back line? Uh, well, that's it. It's continued improvement. Uh, she's con putting in consistent performances. Um, she's going from strength to strength as a player. She's going from strength to strength as a leader. Um, and we have a number of players like her that are starting to really emerge as leaders. Taylor Delaney, Amanda Jones, players of that nature are having strong, consistent games. And uh, that's what you need where the team going forward is your better players, your featured players, putting in consistent performances. And uh, I thought Monica led the line brilliantly as a as a captain and, and as an emotional leader. And her performances were exactly as they were in the fall, very strong, very, very high intense and quality. And uh, we're delighted that she's going to be back for two more years and leading the group. Amanda Jones team's leading scorer, another all-conference player, um, but 12 players scored last fall. What kind of balance did you see this spring up front? Well, again, you know, when you name someone like Amanda Jones, we're going to need her, as always, to contribute with the goals that she chips in, and uh, she, again, once was on fire once again. She scores phenomenal goals. I mean, you, we don't, we don't, you know, get surprised anymore by the quality of the strikes. They're so good. We see them every day in training. But we're starting to see a uh, you know well balanced attack now. You know Sarah Trex has chipped in with two phenomenal goals this spring. You know Airy Riley starting to look more dangerous up front. Perry Bonner starting to come on. Um, you know obviously we're going to get the likes of Jessica Ryan and uh, Alex Myers back in the in the mix. Um, but overall, like you said at the start, that a balanced attack is what we look for. We we pride ourselves on that anyone can score for us on the day, and, and that's what we got in the spring. A lot of a lot of players stepped up and contributed goalkeeper position you do lose Alex Kubrick but Annika McHenry's back with some great experience and Alex Weaver what did you see out of them this spring? Well we split playing time this spring um, and we saw you know really balanced uh, goalkeeping performances in both of them I think you know you judge your goalkeepers on their game performances and, and both players excelled in the games um, you know like I said we only gave up one goal in the spring season out of six games and a lot of that is due to the goalkeeping performance and uh, I think we've seen great improvement in terms of just on the game day, the performance of, of getting the job done, commanding the team, direction of the team, distribution 
Uh, I think both goalkeepers will leave this spring season very pleased about their performances and that battle will always be a strong battle. It's one thing I think we've had here at Charlotte is uh, we've had very good competition in the goalkeeping position and I think that will continue through the summer months. The girls will go away and work hard, those two. Um, we'll have another young goalkeeper join the group to give us three and we're like we've always prided ourselves on, I think we'll have an outstanding goalkeeper here at Charlotte this coming fall season and two very strong backups. There's only a few months left before fall practice begins in August. Uh, what's the team's focus this summer heading into the fall? Well, I, you know, I think that they go away now after a hard spring and after just finishing their finals and uh, get a little bit of family time, get a bit of rest time. That's crucial as well. Um, hopefully they'll be like myself, spending many, many days and weeks watching the World Cup over the course of the summer um, and enjoying the, you know, the, the quality of that particular event um, because I think that gets you excited about your oncoming season. But, you know, our, our, our meetings with the players was go away, improve, get stronger, get fitter, get faster, improve your soccer IQ. Um, everybody come back and raise their game an extra 5 or 10%. And, and that's the standard. It's you know you don't look back and you you don't sort of dwell on what you've done in the past. You 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 feel good about where you've been and you learn from setbacks. And we want to come in here this coming fall season, continue to build and be a force in the conference USA. All right, John. Sounds like another successful spring, and we'll be talking to you soon about some other events around the program. Thank you, Travis.